I think you know a lot of ways to clean off the soot in a frying pan. Here's another one for you to add to your collection. Mix one third cup of vinegar with one teaspoon of citric acid. Place a paper towel on the underside of the skillet you wish to clean. Apply the prepared mixture and let it sit for 30 minutes. During this time the soot will soften, making it easier to scrub away with the dish sponge. Voila! Your skillet is spotless! Are you curious about why there's toilet paper on my desk? I'm going to show you two remarkable life hacks you can do with it. First, cut the paper in half. Place one half of the paper in a plastic bag and put it in a food storage container. Sprinkle water over the paper and scatter microgreen seeds on its surface. In my case, it is peas. Then wrap up the bag and place it in a dark place for three days. After that, open the bag and relocate your homegrown microgreens to a windowsill for another three to four days. Remember to keep them well watered. Now you have fresh microgreens at your disposal for eating and garnishing dishes. And now the most interesting part. I'm going to show you what to do with the other half of the paper. This is a hack that many restaurants and hotels are using. Just put the paper in your fridge and leave it there for 24 hours. It will absorb all the unpleasant odors from the fridge. Well, let's try it. Want to reduce your paper towel usage by 50%? Here's a great solution. Simply divide the paper towel roll in a half. Now I'm going to show you two life hacks with a plastic bottle. The first one is a whisk for whipping eggs and the second one is a convenient cup. Both of these life hacks will be appropriate somewhere in the wilderness if you are not well prepared. Now I'm going to guide you on how to sharpen a kitchen grater. For sharpening these three sides you'll need a standard sharpening stone. Move the stone back and forth along the cutting edges. However, to sharpen the side that looks like it's covered in round little stars, you'll need a fork. Here's how it's done. Is your sponge is dirty and has an unpleasant odor? There's a solution. It's easy. Just put the sponge in the dishwasher next to the dirty dishes and it will be as good as new. If you need to line around baking dish with parchment, here's a good way to do it. There is also another great life hack with parchment. It will help you use much less oil for frying and will also keep your cookware clean.
if you twist the clean grub while wrapping the bowl, it will be easier to open it and unwind the new piece. Here's another chic life hack for buffing away that stubborn exterior suit from your skillet. Simply dump in half a potato with salt and use this natural abrasive to scrub away at your pan. Voila! Your skillet looks brand new! For a savvy sponge storage solution, I make a small slit between the layers of my dish sponge and slip in a petite magnet. Now I can conveniently store it right on my kitchen faucet. Here's another dashing life hack for reviving a particularly grimy stainless steel skillet. The secret ingredient is ground coffee. Nobody believes, but it really works. Voila! Your skillet will look and feel as fresh as a morning brew. To conveniently store food in plastic bags, you can reseal them using foil and an iron. And there you have it! Your food stays fresh longer! Frustrated with potato slices that stick to your knife like magnets? Let me unveil a cherished life hack from my repertoire. To transform this tedious task into smooth sailing, simply tape a toothpick along the edge of the blade. Struggling to scrub those deep and narrow glasses? Here's a slick solution just for you. Spare a dish sponge on a fork and you can effortlessly cleanse every part of the glass, from bottom to sides. Your glass will be sparkling clean. Switching focus back to skillet cleaning. Here comes a game changer. Sprinkle a dash of baking soda onto half a lemon and use it as your scrubbing tool. Don't forget to give a lemon a gentle squeeze now and then to unleash its juice. You'll watch the grime effortlessly melt away. Behold a pristine skillet! And now let's explore another cleaning marvel featuring our trusty lemon. To make oven cleaning a breeze, fill an oven safe dish with water and toss in some lemon slices. Pop it in the oven at 220 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. While the oven is still hot, you'll find that grime wipes away effortlessly with a cloth soaked in our lemony brew. Just be careful, hot surfaces await. Here's a clever life hack that will keep the suds flowing into your dish sponge like a well-oiled machine. Simply puncture one side of the sponge with a needle and then affix the top of a plastic bottle over it. This nifty modification ensures a constant supply of soap right where you need it. Now you're washing dishes with efficiency and flair. In need of a seal for a bottle with a narrow neck and no cork to be found? Worry not, here's a quick and ingenious fix. Take the top from a plastic bottle and place it snugly over the bottle's neck. Next, use a torch lighter to gently warm the plastic until it forms a tight seal. And there you have it, a perfectly sealed bottle. Here's a handy trick to make a knife sharpener from an ordinary clothespin sandpaper and superglue. Cut a piece of sandpaper to fit each side of the clothespin. Stick sandpaper on the clothespin and your DIY knife sharpener is ready to go. The knife has become sharp, hence the life hack has worked. 
To eliminate unpleasant odors from the refrigerator, take a dishwashing sponge. Place it in a container, add water and one tablespoon of baking soda. Leave the sponge in the fridge for a few hours, and the unpleasant odors will disappear. This muffin pan can also serve as a convenient tray for cups or bottles. Now let me unveil a highly effective technique for banishing that fishy odor from any cutting board. Simply sprinkle some salt onto the board and rub it with a lemon. Rinse it off and pat dry. Do you often struggle when cleaning the blending shaft and plate of your stick blender? I'll show you a quick and easy way to clean it. All you need is a jar filled with water. Dip the blender into the jar and turn it on for a few seconds. Afterward, just rinse the blade with water. Now I'm going to show you a very convenient way to use paper towels. Simply put it in the cabinet when you are cooking, pull out the end and close the door. See how convenient it is to use. It's always at hand and doesn't take up any extra space. Do you often find that the butter for your morning sandwich is frozen and you can't spread it? The problem is solved. Just take a regular garlic press, squeeze out the butter and spread it easily with a knife. And if you are worried about cleaning, simply pour boiling water over the garlic press and wipe it off with a towel. Don't have an ice cube tray? No problem. Just take an egg tray, cover it with plastic wrap and pour in water. These are the ice cubes I made. Tip: To easily peel them off the wrap, leave the tray with ice in a warm spot for 1 to 2 minutes. I also made them from coffee and cola. For instance, Coffee ice cubes are delicious when served with milk. To drain the liquid from canned food conveniently, you'll require a common masher. To keep your drinks and snacks cold without spending a fortune, try this simple life hack. Turn an ordinary kitchen sponge into a refrigerant for your cooler bag. It's easy, cheap and effective, even on the hottest days. To make it much easier to remove the soot from your pans and pots, you need to heat up them well first and only apply detergent when they are hot. See how easily everything comes off.
If your knife is dull and you don't have a sharpener at hand, any ceramic dish and hot water will help you. A dish sponge should always be kept dry and clean. To do this, I make a slit in it and hang it on the faucet. If you need to grab two cups of coffee and don't have a cup tray, an ordinary milk carton will do the trick. See how you can turn it into a convenient cup tray. And now an interesting trick from the bartender on how to make an omelette with a pair of glasses. You can also use a bar shaker. Here is the best way to pack a sandwich for school lunch to easily unpack it before eating. Is your parchment paper staging in rebellion refusing to conform to your baking dish? Here's a chic fix. Simply dampen the paper with water. You'll find it becomes instantly more compliant, fitting effortlessly into your baking form. Now you're ready to bake. And now a quick trick for sealing an open plastic package. No binder clips required. Circling back to our fishy dilemma. If your skillet is holding onto that unwelcome scent, here's a fragrant fix. Fill it with water, toss in some lemon slices and a few cloves, bring to a boil and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. The end result? A skillet pushed to fit olfactory offenses, primed and ready for your next culinary adventure. Love Turkish coffee but hate the mess? Hit your jazzy inside the pot. You'll keep the coffee contained and your stove top spotless. Efficiency meets elegance. Missing the right lid for your jar? Don't fret, a simple balloon's got you covered. Inflate it just a tad and gently place it over the jar's opening. Voila! An instant airtight seal. Need kitchen tongs in a pinch? Fashion your own using two forks. Simply unite them with the rubber band. Can't crack that tricky plastic package? Two coins are your easy open tool. Simple yet genius. Run out of napkins? Here's a quick fix. Toilet paper can serve as a substitute. Simply remove the cardboard tube in the middle. You'll have a roll that maintains its structure, with each sheet easily separable. A dishwashing sponge can be effective for cleaning a dirty microwave. Soak the sponge in water and heat the microwave for 30 seconds. The steam will make it easy to clean the walls without any extra cleaning agents. Nobody believes, but it really works. Out of a dish soap, but faced with a grimy skillet, your everyday toothpaste will come to the rescue. It's remarkably effective at tackling even the most stubborn grime. Now 
I am going to show you how easy it is to pour an entire bottle of beer or soda into a glass without waiting for the foam to settle. Here's a life hack for you on how to securely seal a spice bag. You can craft an oil dispenser using just a toothpick and a lighter. Did you know how straightforward it is to sharpen the knife of your home meat grinder? Here's the method. Take a piece of sandpaper and a meat grinder plate. Cut the sandpaper into a circle the same diameter as the plate. Assemble the meat grinder, placing the sandpaper between the knife and the plate. Then operate the grinder for 5 minutes. The grinder's knife will come out sharpened and exceedingly sharp. To thoroughly clean the inside of a bottle, you can fashion a scrubbing brush using a dish sponge, a sushi stick and a rubber band. This life hack might not be an everyday necessity, but it's worth sharing. If you run out of dishwasher tablets, you can whip up your own using baking soda, salt and dish soap. And finally, life hack for some well-deserved relaxation. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing this video in your social media.